Welcome to my new video. Now last week we talked about flying over roads and I mentioned in that video that one of the pictures I took ended up being printed in a national newspaper. If you want to know how this happened, then watch this video. So I'm sitting here today because it's absolutely chucking down outside. Um, it's thundering, it's raining, and it's really not drone flying weather. So it seems the perfect opportunity to do this video. Now, I remember last week I talked about having got one of our pictures in the national press, and this is the story of that. Now, I'm no press photographer, but these are really my thoughts on how this happened, and maybe it might help you. I tend to shoot in bracketed sets of five photos. Now, this particular capture was five photos that I merged into a single HDR image. And with the sky and the trees, it, it really looked, looking back at it now, it looks really good. But actually when the picture, I'd kind of got that merge and it popped up on screen, I was like, oh, the sky doesn't look very nice. I mean, the framing was nice, but I wasn't really impressed with it to start with. So uh, I took the picture on the 1st of October which was a Saturday and I sat on it for about, about five days really before I did anything else with it. Because I wasn't really, didn't really know what to do with it. I thought, shall I leave it? Um, shall I publish this picture, you know, around 11th of November when we, we talk about remembrance in this country? Shall I, um, I don't know, I wasn't really sure. So I left it for a little while. In the end, I put it on the uh, South East UAV owners group on Facebook. And within, I don't know, a, a day or so, I've got quite a lot of likes on it, quite a lot of comments, and I'm not used to that really, because generally my stuff doesn't really get many comments or many likes. So I thought, well, maybe I've got something. So I put it on Nextdoor, which is, I mean, if you're not aware of Nextdoor, it's, it's almost like Facebook, but for local people, as in, you, you don't really have your friends on there, it's all about the community that you live in. So you might have your neighbors on there, they automatically, you get put into like a neighborhood and you share whatever you want to share, whether it's a lost cat or whether it's like when are the bins coming, all that kind of stuff really, generally mundane stuff, but occasionally there's something good on there. And uh, so I put my picture on there and I generally get a lot of comments actually on my pictures on there and lots of uh, likes. And again, this is no exception. I got a lot of likes from it. So then I put it on my, um, my Facebook page. I'll put maybe the link in the description uh, of my Facebook page if you want to join that. And I shared it to a local Facebook group, which um, it just went crazy from there. Within, I don't know how many actually I've got on that in the end, but I think I've got about four or 500 likes on that group, which is a quite a high proportion of the group. I mean, it's, it's great to get 50 likes, but if you're getting 50 likes out of a group that's got a thousand on it, you're doing pretty well. You know, and I got an awful lot of likes on this picture. And, from that, actually, um, about three or four days later, well, I assume it's from that, because actually that, that picture, that post I did on my Facebook group was shared, I think 114 times now. Um, it's just been kind of crazy. And lots and lots of people look at it. And I don't know exactly where it's from, but I assume it's from Facebook. Uh, I got contacted from um, the Daily Mail, the picture desk at the Daily Mail, who wanted to use it for in one of their, you know, in their upcoming issue. So I was like, would I let them use it? Well, yeah, you can use it obviously for a fee, which we agreed, it's not a massive fee, but it is like, you know, it's, it's nice to get paid for something actually. I mean, I, I take pictures all the time. And if you're anything like me, you've got probably hundreds or thousands of pictures. And how many you get paid for is a tiny, tiny percentage. So it's nice to get something for a picture. I'm not gonna tell you how much it is, how much I got, but it was, a, it was a contribution to my cost, shall we say. So I wasn't actually sure if they were gonna use it or not, but about two days later, I think it was on a Thursday, uh, they emailed me, said, yeah, we've used your picture. It's on page, I think it was on page nine. So of course I rushed out to try and find the picture, try and find the newspaper. Uh, in the little village where I was, there was no news agent, so. <laughs> I uh, had to go and get some fuel, so at the same time I picked up the newspaper. And I was so chuffed to see it in there. I mean, it's nearly a full page. And I was so 
so, still so pleased with it uh, and so amazed. And um, I mean, I know that uh, everybody I've told about it is like, wow, that's really good because it's, you know, it's out of all the pictures that were chosen, that were printed in that newspaper that day, actually, I think mine was probably the one that was used most prominently within the paper. So I was chuffed. Why do I think it got to the newspaper? Well, I guess, firstly, that the, uh, the picture desks for the newspapers are looking at uh, things that get lots of reactions in Facebook groups. So they must have people that live, I'm guessing, in different parts of the country, and they get, um, you know, if someone posts a picture and it gets a lot of coverage or lots of interest, then maybe they might pick it up. Uh, specifically, why this got interest, I knew the significance of this uh, Maple Avenue when I took the picture. So I've been driving past it for about a, about two weeks and I could see how pretty the trees were and I knew that they had been planted for to commemorate the Canadian servicemen that came over in the First, first and Second World Wars. Now each one of the trees is twinned with a, a gravestone or a headstone in the local Bramshot Church. So actually I went there yesterday actually and looked at the gravestones and yeah that'll be an upcoming video but not probably for this channel but maybe I'll put a link up here somewhere if and when I do that. So I knew the significance of the, the picture when I took it and I don't think anybody's ever taken this picture before so it was, it's a nice picture because uh, you've got the straight lines of the roads, you've got the dark grey, you've got the, the bright orange of the trees and you've got the green of the rest of the trees so it gave great contrast. The sky I think looks looks good I mean sometimes I'm always love to get really nice sunsets and sunrises and this I haven't got in this case but I actually saw somebody else had a go at this picture a little while later after me posting it and they got one with a, a better sky but actually looking at a comparison I think mine is probably the better picture because it, you're not taking a picture of the sky you need to take a picture of the subject was the trees and the roads so the sky kind of complemented that rather than took all the limelight. So I think actually I was lucky that I just got that sweet spot really. So because of the fact that it was um, kind of, there was a story behind these trees, it wasn't just a pretty picture, it was a story as well. I think that's probably why it got picked up because there is a story behind it. Uh, it's a current picture, you know, it's a new one. It had been taken within, I think they published it I don't know when they published it actually, I think they published it around about the 15th of October when it was still current and it was still um, very much in the public eye and because it's Daily Mail very much it's like we will respect our elders, all that kind of stuff and uh, I think their, their headline was Autumn Pays Homage to Our Heroes, something like that, which is a nice headline. Uh, what I, I think really is that there are pictures out there that nobody's taken before. Now, I've got a, like a wish list of pictures I want to get, which includes things like Stonehenge. It includes uh, things like Dirtle Door, Land's End, uh, Old Harry's Rocks, Corfe Castle, Angel of the North, all those sorts of places that everybody wants to get a picture of. But those pictures are so, there's so many of them that you're probably never going to sell one of those pictures. There may be a picture locally to you that has this sort of interest nationally can you find it and that's really the trick if you can find it you've got a winner on your hands and if you can get a good picture of it you know frame it nicely you've potentially got that winner if you enjoyed the video it'd be great if you click the thumbs up uh, leave me a comment about do you like this picture are there pictures that you um have taken that you think you should have been printed nationally. Tell me what you think about the picture. Do you like it? Um, have you managed to find a picture yourself that you've had to, you've been able to get it printed in the national press or even local press? Have you got an idea for that picture? I mean, you don't have to tell me where that is, but I'd be interested to know if you've got an idea for a picture that's maybe get picked up like this. Uh, I hope it's helped. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking next week I might do a video on about, because the nights are drawing in, and a lot of people put their drones away for uh, the winter. I might do a, a video about flying at night. It often comes up in, in questions on Facebook groups and places, and it's not necessarily as straightforward as you might think, so um, I might do that for next week. Well, next week, next video. I'm not always weekly videos, but um, the more you like the, the videos, the more you watch them, the more I'll do them in all fairness. So, 
But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.